Hello and welcome to World of Warships. This is a game I've been wanting to do a video on for quite a while and now that we've reached 0.7 I've decided actually to, to go ahead and, and share with you my views on this. Uh, this is a game where th I think one of <laughs> the angriest communities, um, you get a lot of people shouting and swearing in the in the chat and whatnot, and it, it, this game brings me a lot of laughs, I quite enjoy playing it. I am I'm not a very serious player, I've managed to get up to tier 7 on the, both the British and the American cruiser line, I'm certainly a cruiser. Uh, so a cruiser player, uh, I love this game very, very, very much. I, it is a little bit grindy at times. Um, as you can see, I've sort of been working my way up to getting to the Edinburgh uh, with free XP. I'm on sort of 50, 50 or so thousand XP, so I'm about, I'm nearly halfway there to getting to the Edinburgh. Um, and on the on the T7 uh, Pensacola, I'm <laughs> even nowhere near that. Uh, I'm slowly working my way up on the on the British battleship line as well. If you focus on one line, because there are multiple lines. Um, if you go to the tech tree here, you can see there's <clears throat> all these different ships on the British ones, and if I go over to the American ones, you can see there's even more when it eventually loads. There you go. There's even more ships, and the Japanese the same. And you know, trying to get up, trying to get every single one of these T10 ships, it'd be absolutely ridiculous. You have to play all the time. Uh, but that's the point, isn't it? Um, it's one of the nice things about the game is is the fact that you can play for a very long time, and there is still things to be working towards. Each line has different advantages and disadvantage. Um, Example is the difference between this uh, T7 Fiji and if I go over to the Pensacola, you can see the difference in the size of the the, the main gun batteries and uh, the sort of the purpose of these um, ships are very very different. This is more of a scout cruiser, and the Pensacola over there is um, a little bit more of a uh, heavy cruiser. Heavy being the guns, not the not the armor, because this thing both of them are a little bit flimsy. And then obviously you get things like battleships with big ass main guns. Um, but I don't enjoy them as much. So I really want to, I just want to make a little video on, on um, sort of the way I play this ship and have, just have some fun with it really and, and sh share some experiences with you. Right. Ah. Oh. Come on. Right, let's, let's go. <laughs> I love the really over-Britishness. Gonna immediately get everyone over my side. Roger. Because I bet they'll be going to A as well. And there's always a destroyer who lands around that area over there. Roger. Come on. We have a DD who's not doing anything yet. Andy. <laughs> yep, we'll go for both A and D. <laughs> Do a little bit of scouting. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. What we got? Oh, hello, 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 hello. Let's hope he goes and scouts. I don't think we can get in there without being annihilated. Annihilated? See, we're gonna. Where's the DD? Is he going? Yeah, okay. Smoke screen set. That's what we're waiting for. Someone else is couched in. 10.5 Over penetration, that's fun be a little bit squishy. Don't like the idea. I think the Perth is the same as me. Oh, hello, someone's firing from there. Let's see if we can get him. Ah. I might just rotate a little bit. See if we can take out that Emily Butter. No, uh, he's not. He's 
one's pretty close. He's also on the wrong side. So I'm going to send those out. Alright, it's time to run. Go, 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 go. Running, 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 running. You should be squishy. Squishy enough. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yep. Knew I was gonna happen. That was predictable. Happy, happy, happy. Come on, sit down, him. What we want? Oh, he's so close. He's so close. One hit will do. I don't think we're gonna get the kill. Someone else can get the kill. But as long as we're alive, that's all that matters. Oh, he's been alive for way too long. Thank you. I do love the fact that cruisers have a lovely habit of also driving in straight lines. Is that? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Not as lucky as we were last time, but, you know, be there. See, I said this this thing does have a mean sting in its tail when it wants to. Oh, that's a good hit. Four penetrations. There it is. It's Perth, that's why. Okay, let's make sure we're doing our thing where we're stinging. Mm. That should be a good shot, actually. Come on, that path goes quick. Oh, no, he's running away. Why would you do that? He's going to go for cover, I believe. Gonna be hanging in the air quite a while, so no, no chance. Come on! Oh, good start to a match, though. Right, they are down massively on uh, damage per set, uh, damage per minute. With three cruisers out of the way. We've only got a few battleships left, so we're gonna I don't know, there's a Fuso over there and that can that can kill us pretty quick. And he's running away. It's not particularly quick. Actually you know what that might do this. Oh. Mm, I'm not sure we can do a huge amount of damage to the Fuso. Right. You know what, I might just Yep. Is he gonna? No, he's not. Because that would be logical. Why would you do that? Why would you set a smoke screen? Oh, big hit. Thank you. And you get into cover before he fires off again. I can't see him. I have no idea what he's doing. Is that enough? Yeah. Just missed those. Which is alright. And then you'll be going again. 
Yeah, he's dead. He gone. Enemy cruiser sunk. Okay, I want to be a little bit careful because his guns can do way more damage than to me and I can do to him. So if we careful, we're not. Find the firepower. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm worried about. Problem solved, sir. It's because I can predict he's going to bring in something else. That Julio Cesare. Try and protect him a little bit. Okay, so there, obviously, there's the carrier will be all the way over there somewhere. Our carrier, however, <laughs> I don't really know where he is. Oh, I don't know what they're shooting at on oh, Nassau. Mm, I don't like it when it's this quiet. It's quiet. Too quiet. He's straight, sailing straight in a straight line quickly but there's no cover do you think he's going to move at all because I think we should stop and set a smoke screen because I think we're going to get detected pretty quickly I knew that would happen oh we saw detected we saw detected okay we're all detected oh no he's fucking hell he's gone smoke screen set Straight on there. Well, that's a bit annoying, really. Oh no, there was something over there. Well, if we don't need it anymore, might as well go for a hunt. Can't do anything in the Congo. Cleveland on our left is a <laughs> He should be able to take out the. I try to take out the battleship quite easily. That is a massive amount of DPS. And we're going to just scout the edge of this because I don't think we can get detected for a while. That is a bit annoying. I don't know how far away he is either. Um. Oh, we'll detect it now. That's gonna be fun. Ooh, okay, that's really fun. The Belfast, that's what was. Twat. Oh. Okay. He's flimsy, he's flimsy. Oh, that's a big hit. Ah, he can't get us either. <laughs> oh, I detected by, detected by air at the moment, so I think I'm just going to double back a little bit. I don't want to be caught out in the open by myself. I can't really get off shots either. No, you're not going to be able to take me out there, mate. There's an emerald. Uh, I think that's the... What tier is the emerald? That's T5. Okay, that's way lower. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't hit him at the moment. Oh, I can just about... If I do that. So there's an emerald just hanging around doing nothing, which is a little bit annoying. There's Sean horse over there, but that's so far away you can't you can't really pose much of a threat at the moment. We are doing our best. Is this I'll try and get another one if I can. Okay, 
unfortunately, in making sure we can't, we won't die. It's a river. That's, that's fortuitous. Okay, he's on a low, he's low health now. Let's try and take that bell fast out. We can probably take him out in one one salvo if we're accurate enough. Luck's on our side there. It's gonna take him a couple of seconds. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? I think we are. Oh! No. One more hit. There it is. Enemy cruiser destroyed. That emerald shouldn't be too tricky either. Um. That emerald is hiding. It's a bit annoying. Right, we'll weigh in. <laughs> yeah, there's no one around or anything. Let's just go full on in there. See if we can get a few Sith Dells. It shouldn't be too difficult. That's it. Oh, that was a good match. That was a good match. Enjoyed that one a lot. There you go, nearly 3,000 credits and uh, 149 free XP. I'm pleased with that. That was a good match. Enjoyed that one a lot. This thing about World of Warships, you have good ones and you have bad ones. And these sort of good ones really do make up for the bad ones. And Oh no, definitely take a look at this British cruiser line. It's really fun. You get, it's difficult. It's not the easiest one in the world. In fact, we're just going to go back to port. Starting from you know, five, it sort of gets much better. Um, ooh, sorry, I've got a crate. I want to see what the crate is. I always try luck. I don't really care what it is. I don't know what I get. Uh, you get super containers sometimes as well. They give you huge amounts of, of different various things. Um, lots of good stuff. I tend not to put... I tend not to use it actually. I'm a bit of a hoarder. There you go. I'm already 63,000 that tour. And yeah. And he got to get up to 108,000. God, I'm going to get another 45,000 XP to, to get up there. And you could get these, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, but that I'll leave it there. And definitely, as I say, take a look at this um, this tech tree. The British British line are pretty good. You know, obviously, I know the USA, they have slightly harder hittings. And the Russians, slightly harder hitting. And they, you know, it, Japanese, it, oh God, the Japanese line is ridiculous. But the Japanese line is always going to be ridiculous. If you want a challenge and you want to play something difficult, um, some people say it's it's for experienced captains only. I think it's for people that are just up for a challenge because it's just a bit of a laugh. Yeah, <laughs> from the Black Swan down to the down to the Minotaur. The Minotaur is an amazing ship, I and mean, we can't get it yet. I want to get it soon, um, maybe in a few months' time. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Definitely take a look at this because this ship is incredible with its, with its 152 millimeters, 3.2 second reload time. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's not difficult to go up to the sort of tier 5 T6. Um, and at that point, you get massively rewarded. I mean, much more rewarded than with the Pensacola or something like that. Oh, I could get these guns out. Ah, getting distracted again. This is a good, good ship, but it's just, it's just very. Me. The Cleveland was amazing before as well, and the, the American American tiers are great, but I much prefer the British ones. British ones have brought me so much more fun, and that's what this game is, isn't it? It's fun. So I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this this video. You know, it's all World Warships, and we will we will come back to it. I'll probably update you when I get finally get the next ship, or I mean, just jump on some more gameplay, some good ones. I'm really devastated I missed the best game I ever played and didn't record it because I just didn't think I would get a good game in that one, but I did. But doesn't matter now. I hope you enjoyed this game, and I'll, um, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.